Hey there fellow Minecraftians, welcome to another video and it's time for some redstone. So this right here is my password protected door lock. Now it doesn't use one of these silly lever combinations that is really easy to brute force, but it uses actual written passwords. So there are almost infinite combinations and of course only one will be right. So I've got three right here, one says Microscorpion, which is the one that's right. I've got Pineapple, which is wrong, and I've got Dinkelberg, which is also wrong, and everything else apart from this one will be wrong. Now I've used some techniques from uh, Seth Bling in here and also some that I find on Reddit, but I'll get into that later. I'll first show you it in action. Uh, so I'll throw in this one, which says Pineapple, which is wrong. And as you can see, nothing happens. I throw in Dinkelbrook, which is also wrong. Once more, nothing happens. Now I'll throw in the right one, which is Microscorpion, like so. And the door opens and I fail to get in, which is my own stupidity. <laughs> so let's try that again. There we go, I'm in. Now I'm in, but I lost two of my passwords, and if that happens every time it's going to be quite expensive to lock my door like this. So I've built in this, just hit this button once, a card will come up, and there you are, there are your passwords once again, ready to be used another time. Send this card back down, and it works once more, so I'll just show you that it just works again. Throw my papers in there, the doorbell rings, and you're in again. And you can once more retrieve your paper and there it is send back down <laughs> and there you've got your password locked door now let me show you how this works step by step so here I've removed some of the floors so you can take a look at the redstone wiring but it's still a bit of a mess so I'll actually go out of here and show you the most important part first and that is the thing that checks if it's the right password or not and I actually got this system from Reddit, which I use, and I use another system which Seth Bling has discovered, and that is that um, when you name these papers, they, they do not stack when they're um, not the same. So this is Dinkelbrook, this is Pineapple, and they do not stack. So that's what I use in this right here, because um, this is a redstone comparator, and when there are 23 or more items in this item hopper, this will get get to a signal strength of 2 which will then power this repeater and this redstone signal and as you can see there are now 18 or I mean there are 22 in them so there's only one when it gets when there's one more in there it will power this repeater and um, will make this signal act active and because this already is full filled up with microscorpion papers when I throw in one that isn't a microscorpion paper it won't go in and will start bouncing bouncing off when I uh, put in one that is a Microscorpion paper, it will get to 23 because it will stack on top of this, which will make this redstone active. So that's important to know, so let me just show you it that it works, as you can see right there. Now the thing is though, it, stay, it will stay active unless one piece of the Microscorpion will get taken out again. So that's exactly what this does, so this will get powered up, like so. This will convert the active signal into one pulse, which will make this minecart go up one time and will take out one microscorpion paper. So when I throw in one here, oops, as you can see this one goes up very quickly like that and will collect the paper. So that is the system that I use in there. Now I'm back into the bowels of the redstone wiring in here and it's actually not as complicated as it looks at first because in here we have the exact same system as I have over there. So right here is the hopper with a comparator next to it and as you can see there are 22 in here and when I drop the right uh, password in the hole which is right there it will give out a signal strength uh, strong enough to power this repeater which will then go to this. This is the pulse generator that I just showed you, which will make this minecart go up and take one out again, resetting the whole system. Now, what I've done as well is from when this get power, not only does it reset itself, it also gives one signal off to here, and this goes up to the door. So now we already have the system that opens the door if a right password is selected. Now if you remember correctly there is one more thing that this lock does and that is that it will resend you your used passwords via this minecart. Oh, that's not to get it to run off. And you just gotta keep in mind that this minecart right here is the same one as this one in this little setup. So that's the function that it has. So this one will get all the extra 
passwords. So these will need to go to here. Now the way I do it is pretty simple. First, this will go off, causing this to go up and then down again. But what also happens is that um, there goes a signal off in this direction with a few repeater set to a slow state and inverter, which will eventually, after this cycle has done, is done, um, will fire up this piston. And this piston will push the minecart with the uh, chest and the passwords onto this track for a second, after which it will bounce back into this position. But in the while that has gone here, there's another hopper down here, which has taken it to the minecart down there. So as you can see, I've got two Minecraft Scorpion passwords in there. So it sounds a bit complicated, but it's actually really simple. When I now send this one down, it will end up there and the hopper will put, place them into this minecart. When I hit the button again, it will go back up and the, and the passwords are in there. So once more, <laughs> this fires up. So this goes up, takes out the extra uh, passwords out of the hoppers. Then this one gets uh, pushed there and the passwords get taken out by this hopper. Now, when there's a minecart underneath, the passwords will put in that minecart, which will go back up to there. It really isn't that hard, and that's about all there is to it. Um, I can actually demonstrate it really quickly, so maybe you get a better idea. Let's see if I can reach this hopper right here. And I'll throw in one manually, like so. As you can see, it goes up, it pushes it, like, it pushes it to there, and it gets taken out by this hopper when I send this minecart down there, the password will get into the chest and it will be sent back up. And that is all there is to this lock. I had a fun time building it. I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Feel free to ask any questions if you didn't understand it. It's quite hard to explain, but anyway for the rest, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.